Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological movement disorder that leads to increasing disability over time. It is characterized by decreased dopamine levels in the brain, leading to an imbalance of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine that impacts voluntary movement. Dopamine loss also affects the sympathetic nervous system, leading to autonomic symptoms like orthostatic hypotension, drooling, and nocturia. Risk factors for Parkinson's disease include genetic predisposition, viral infections, atherosclerosis, head trauma, long-term antipsychotic medication use, and environmental exposures. Parkinson's disease is more common in men and is typically diagnosed in individuals in their 60s or 70s. Four classic symptoms of Parkinson's disease are resting tremor muscle rigidity, a slow shuffling gait called bradykinesia, and postural instability. Resting tremors are evident when the extremities are motionless but disappear with voluntary movement. Eventually, the tremor becomes a repetitive, constant, slow-turning motion between the forearm, hand, and thumb, commonly known as a pill-rolling tremor. Muscle rigidity can affect facial muscles, leading to a mask-like appearance and problems swallowing and speaking. Bradykinesia and postural instability increase the client's risk for falls. Cognitive changes may also occur. There are no specific diagnostic tests for Parkinson's disease. Diagnosis is primarily clinical, based on the presence of at least two of the four classic symptoms. Blood tests, SPECT scans, cerebrospinal fluid analysis, and brain imaging like CTs and MRIs may be used to rule out other conditions. Medical management focuses on medications to increase dopamine levels or mimic its effects. Levodopa, often combined with carbidopa, is the most effective medication but may cause side effects over time like dyskinesia, confusion, and hallucinations. Other medications include MAOB inhibitors, anticholinergics, antivirals, dopamine agonists, and COMPT inhibitors. Physical, occupational, and speech therapy are crucial components for maintaining the client's mobility and daily functioning, as well as their ability to communicate. Surgical options like stereotactic pallidotomy and deep brain stimulation may be considered when medications are insufficient. Nursing interventions for clients with Parkinson's disease focus on enhancing mobility and self-care activities, preventing falls, improving communication, encouraging optimal nutrition intake, facilitating swallowing, and supporting effective coping strategies. Overall nursing goals are to improve the client's mobility, independence, safety, nutritional status, communication, and coping mechanisms. Nurses also monitor for complications like medication side effects and aspiration while continuously evaluating the effectiveness of interventions and adjusting care plans as indicated.